Hi, my name is Alex with Apex Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be talking about how to control who can transition issues in Jira. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything that I cover in this video, let me know in the comment section below. Let's jump into Jira. Okay, so we're actually going to be talking about two different ways of doing this. The first way is going to be through your project, and the second way is going to be through the workflow. So make sure you watch this entire video if you want to learn both methods. To do the first method, all you got to do is go into your company managed project that you want to do this in. And then on the left hand side, you want to come down to project settings. Once you're in project settings, you want to come to permissions. If you've never explored your permission scheme, you might want to consider taking a deep dive into this. I do have a video in somewhere in one of my 100 videos that I've made already where I do break down these different permissions into more detail. So go and check that video out. Now, for the purposes of this video, we're going to scroll down and we're going to be looking for a permission called transition issues. So if you come down, it's going to be the last one of this section down here. And this permission here, this is what essentially gives you the ability to control who can transition your issues. By default, it's going to be any logged in user, which is typically what you want. Typically, you want anybody that has access to your project, right? Assuming that they passed a browse permission per, um, gate, you want them to essentially anybody should be able to transition the issue. Now, if you don't want this, right? If you want maybe just an administrator, or maybe you just want somebody in a specific group, this is where you're going to want to come and make this change. So in here, you're going to want to come to the transition issues. We'll come, so we'll have to scroll back up to the edit permissions. Then we'll come down back to the transition issues, and then you're going to hit update. When you click on update, you can pick if you want somebody with a specific role. So depending on the roles you set, you can pick a group. Uh, you may not know these. These are usually hidden to just the site level administrators. So you might need to consult with them to be able to find that. You can open up to the public, which I do not recommend because that opens it up to the whole world. So don't do that one. Any logged in user is the default. So pretty much anybody that's logged in. Uh, keep in mind though, that this doesn't actually mean any logged in user. It means anybody that has passed and, and has been deemed worthy by the browse permission. You can also limit it to just a reporter, to a single user, to a project lead, or to the current assignee. So yeah, you do have a couple of options, but historically, if you wouldn't want to restrict it, it might be a good idea to restrict it to just the developers and the administrators, and maybe just not your users. So anyways, once you do that, then whatever information is filled out here in your permission, this is what's actually going to take effect. So that is method number one. For method number two, this one's actually a little bit more advanced, but it will give you the flexibility that you need because the previous method, the one we just covered, that one will work, but it applies to every status. So if you want to restrict at a very, very macro level, who can transition doing it through the permission scheme is the best way to do it there. But if maybe you just want to transition, who can, who can, move an issue to us from one status to another, right? Or maybe you want to restrict who can actually move an issue to done, then you may want to consider the second method. So looking at the second method, we're going to go back to our project, but this time instead of, and we're going to go back to project settings, but this time, instead of going to permissions, we're going to go to workflow. And inside of our workflow, we're going to edit our workflow here. Okay. I like to be in the diagram view just because it's easier for me to read, but feel free to pick the view that you like with between diagram or text. And all you got to do is click on the transition the, for the status that you want to restrict. In this particular case, I only want to enable a specific person to be able to move an issue to the status of in progress. So when you do that, all you got to do is come over here and come to uh, conditions and you're going to add a condition. Here, we have a permission condition here, and you're going to click on this or, or you can do a user. So it's up to you which one you want to do. But for this particular example, I am going to do the users in a group. 
because this is what I want. Or you can do a, a, a to kind of match the, the previous example, you can go any role, right? But I'm going to do a group for now. Or you can do a project role. Again, you, you do have a lot of options here. So let's just go with one. I'm just going to do users in a project role. And when you click add here, it's going to be very similar. You're going to have the same options that we had in the last one where you can pick between your administrators, your developers, or your users. But the key, the key differentiator here, what makes this method different than the last one is the last method, the first method that I showed, it applies to all transitions from any status at, uh, across the board. This particular method is method number two it actually only works for when you're trying to go from to do to in progress or from done to in progress because of the, just the way my workflow set up but it's the it to in progress that i'm putting the restriction so not all the statuses need apply so anyways that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it if you got value out of this video make sure you subscribe make sure you drop a like and if you have any questions comments or concerns about anything in this video let me know in the comment section thanks and i'll see you in the next one